it's finally time to peel these hideous stickers off the K-Van. Well, most of it. <laughs> this side, the stickers came off so easy and look how good that is after I gave it a little bit of a clean with the rag. All of the residue is gone and it looks super clean. Unfortunately, of course, the only side that has mixed match ones I'm having issues with. This will not come off in one piece. It just keeps breaking off on all these tiny little pieces and it's super frustrating. Um, and then there's this part left of this side. So I'm gonna have to probably hit that with like a caramel wheel or something later on, um, which I have at home. I don't have it at the shop for some reason. Um, I may also try, once I've finished doing some work on this today, uh, to sit this in the sun for a bit and let it get a bit heated up and softer and see if it comes off then. But at least we get an idea of what the k van's gonna look like with no stickers on the side by looking at this side, which is nice. And before we get too carried away starting to work on the k van, welcome to today's video. Today, I have some big plans for this thing. We've got some cool parts in the back that we're gonna be bolting on to make this thing just sound that extra mwah. So, without further ado, let's show you what we got. I think my favorite thing about being a YouTuber is that pretty much every day feels like Christmas because when you have so many car parts and stuff on order, you're getting like a package a day and literally every day feels like Christmas opening up these things. So what we have here guys is a pod filter kit for the K-Van. We want to hear those turbo sounds and intake sounds. So this is going to help with that. It's a really simple, nice kit. Comes with the pod filter, nice little heat shroud, some silicon piping, other piping and brackets and bits and stuff. So this is gonna give us, I mean, what, what do they normally say on the eBay ads these days? Like what, 25 to 50 horsepower this will give us? That's obviously BS, but it's gonna give us all the sound cool noises. And then the next thing we have in this little box here is what I'm most excited about. This, so we got a little, two little brackets, a hose and another bracket thing. And this, my friends, is a special bra um, mounting kit for a blow off valve on the K-Van. Now, I wanted a very unique sound for the blow off valve on this car. And don't get, me, don't get me wrong, I'm definitely known for not liking blow off valves. I love turbo surge noise. But something about the K-Van having a high pitched blitz, old school blow off valve sound would be amazing. Now this particular one is off an RX-7 specifically, but this is the old Blitz style one that has that very unique sound because see how the little trumpet piece there has that little slit on the bottom? Makes all the cool noises. So I'm gonna be cleaning this up because it is pretty dirty right now. Um, and we're gonna be making this fit and work on the K-Van today. So at the end of this video, we should be hearing some cool like No, that's like more surge noise, but you know what I'm saying. Like the kind of like, it's gonna be like a but more of like a ch -ch -ch -ch, but also high pitch kind of ch -ch -ch. Yeah, anyway you know what i'm saying I, I don't even know why i'm doing that but this is all the stuff we got for the k-van today we're going to be putting it on and hopefully by the end of this video we'll be doing some cool rips with her Taking a quick moment to tell you about today's video sponsor, which is Lucky Labo. If you're into JDM cars, you should already know what Lucky Labo is, but just in case you don't, they're an online store. They sell a bunch of really hard to find JDM accessories and parts for your car. A lot of collectible stuff. One of them is their Ecosia air fresheners. These are extremely hard to get out of Japan and they are amazing. We're gonna do a little bit of ASMR air freshener time, but here they are. This is their new sexy squash scent, which is a more sensual squash scent, if that makes sense. <laughs> so let's get this puppy open. Ooh, yeah. If you guys don't know about these, these are pretty much put in the cup holders, the typical like AC vent cup holders, and they keep your car smelling amazing. Let's give this a quick whiff. Ooh, so it smells like that JDM kind of squash smell, but this has a more kind of softer, I don't know how to describe it, but it smells really sweet and also smells like your girl's hair when it's been freshly shampooed out of the shower. Does that make sense? Is that weird? Lucky Labo has a bunch of this kind of stuff on their website and I highly recommend their sexy squash Ecosia air fresheners. They really are the real deal and if you want your car to not only look authentic JDM, but smell authentic JDM, this is the air freshener 
for you. They're very popular amongst the Kaido races and Bosozoku. So with that guys, thank you Lucky Labo for sponsoring this video. Head to their website, link down in the description. Don't forget to use my coupon code and let's get back to the video. Managed to scrub this thing up pretty nice now. I mean, it's got some blemishes there because, you know, the chrome is chipped off and stuff like that, but otherwise, pretty good. And then, because this sticker had sat here for a while, um, I sprayed like some parts cleaner over the plastic just to kind of like let it soak in, and it's gotten soft enough where I'm actually able to start peeling it now. So, fingers crossed, I can get this hideous tribal sticker off today without needing a caramel wheel. That would be goals right now for me. Man, I can't believe that parts cleaner trick worked and softened it up enough. Oh, I'm excited. It looks like we're gonna get this. I'm gonna take my time and get it all off. Check this out. Managed to get it off. I am extremely hyped on this. Both sides, now clean. No more hideous tribal stickers. This side was definitely driving me and I think a lot of people that watch the video is insane too because the sliding door must have been replaced at some point in the past and it had a different color tribal sticker which was supposed to match up with the one on the car and they just didn't match at all. So that's done now. There is like a little bit of a difference there. You can see like from under the sticker here to there, like you can kind of see where the stickers used to be. And over time that'll clear up or we can go and like, you know, polish the whole car and stuff if we really cared about that so much. But I'd find with as it is now, we're probably gonna end up putting some kind of sticker or livery on this in the future anyway, so that doesn't bother me. Anyways, I've kind of just been uh, letting the engine all cool down because it was super hot in here, it still is, so we'll let that chill for a bit and we'll uh, pick it up once we're ready to bolt all this goodness on. Another thing you guys have been asking a lot about is the GoPet. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about it and we have a lot of upgrades coming next month for it. Um, but for now, uh, I just wanna see if we can get this thing running again. The tank is a little bit leaky, leaky, how are you going? But we should be able to still uh, get a few rips out of it. And I've only put a tiny bit of uh, pre-mixed fuel in there. So we should be able to get it started. A little bit of persuasion from my friend here. Mr. Parts Cleaner. A bit of choke. It's crazy just how much fun this little go-pet is. Even though we were just zipping up and down the driveway, the thing is so much fun. And uh, I cannot wait for uh, the rest of the parts to get here and stuff so that I can build this thing and go a little bit crazy. Definitely want a lot more speed, but we also need to make this thing a lot more uh, uh, sturdy <laughs> and a lot safer. So we got some new wheels and a whole bunch of other stuff coming to make this thing a little bit more updated. But uh, the thing's gonna definitely sound like a monster when I'm done with it. Definitely gonna be the best little track thing. I can't wait, I wanna bring this to the next Mitsuri and just rip around uh, EBC circuit with it, so good. Engine's cooled down enough now, ready to start work, and I love that my light literally just clips up here on the top of the cabinet and I got everything lit up down here. The instructions are pretty simple. Looks like all we gotta remove is pretty much the air box and the factory uh, piping here. A few screws, a few 10 mils, and we should be done. So let's smash this out. Do 
Just finished on this side. We got the pod filter mounted up. It went pretty easy. It's definitely a little bit difficult down in there just because of how much space you have and obviously the position of where you're working on everything. Like I'm literally on my knees here um, trying to get everything in, but we did. The bracket's pretty, uh, pretty uh, solid too. It doesn't like flop around or anything. It's got a little bit of movement to it, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, otherwise everything's all done on this side now. I'm curious to know if it's gonna sound any different. So I want to start this thing up and see if we hear anything real quick. Man, that IAC. Oh, that's the AC compressor. Okay, you hear a bit more intake now. I'm happy about that. Now we want the rest of that. Should be pretty straightforward. We need to remove the OEM factory like um, re, re something valve <laughs> recipitate. No, I'm. I'll, I'll. You know what? You guys help me out in the comments because I can't think of it. It's just a. It's a blow off valve that returns it back to the intake pipe. Recirculation. Thank you, Jeff. By the way, Jeff just Je Jeff rocked up just before. Thank you, dude. Recirculation valve. There you go. I've never had recirculation valve, so there we go. So we're gonna take this one off. We've got a plate that goes on there, and then that kind of comes up over here, and then the blov the blov bov. What is wrong with me today? I can't speak. The more Japanese I speak, the less English I, I can do. <laughs> Bob is now installed and it looks great. But before I show you, I wanna quickly remind you guys, I am doing a clearance sale on all of our shirts on Semit.net. There's only a few left, so jump on it. I'm trying to get rid of all of them for the next big drop. And just a quick reminder, because we ship with DHL, you get your stuff in like two to three days from Japan. It's crazy fast shipping. And because you're already paying just the base rate, you can just throw in a whole bunch of extras and normally the price doesn't even go up. So you pretty much have free shipping on all that stuff. But anyways, that aside, Go to summit.net, grab yourself some merch, and let's check out this bov now. As you can see, the new Blitz bov is bolted in here. I love this bracket that they included. It like just fits in there perfectly. Everything came with it. The only thing is I found that I needed to use a little hose clamp here for this side, so it should be pretty good. Um, everything's kind of on here and ready to roll, so we should be able to start this up and see what it sounds like. Here we go, lads. Whew. A little excited, ain't gonna lie. No way. <laughs> yes. This is so obnoxious. Oh my God, that's gonna be so obnoxious. It's hard to really get it to sound how it's gonna truly sound on the road. So we're gonna to have to do some drive-bys. But I am way too excited about this. This is, this has got me hyped. Let's see if we can do it from over here. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Does that sound cool, Jeff? Does that sound cool? For a K-Van? <laughs> We're gonna have to definitely do some drive-bys to hear this. So hear me out guys, we just put a blow up valve on this, but I've just disconnected the vacuum line for an experiment. Let's see what this sounds like with no bov. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of in love with that. But let's put this back on because it's a cave and turbo. And I'm like 90% sure if I don't actually run a bob on this car, it will probably blow up the turbo. Because <laughs> they're so tiny, they probably can't handle too much, but that does sound really cool. All right, so it's time to test this thing. Um, we revved it up on the spot, but I think that once this car's under load, it's gonna sound so much better. So, give it a rip. <laughs> Sounds so good. That's pretty good. Give it another one. 
<laughs> Dude, that's loud. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> oh, it's so obnoxious. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this screams me. The next thing we need is some aero delivery or a wrap or something or paint. And then um, the KTR is evolving, man. We need a high boost as well. That's what I think we need for this thing. But and a May May livery a right May, down the side. A Mayumi livery, is that yep. what you're saying? Yep. Dude, we should just put a face like. <laughs> See, the thing is, is like a Natasha van doesn't, you don't want windows because you just want that like sheet metal look. So it's just super easy to be a you know, moving mm. piece of art, but we can make it work. That would be funny, but now that we've said it, it's ruined it. So. <laughs> well, we'll do something else. But yeah, I'm hyped. Don't you just want one, Jeff? They're cheap. You should get one. You, then we could then we could just mob together. Dude, I gotta fix my own car first, then I gotta think about the next car. So. Okay, true, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Although, Jeff, your car is pretty much running and perfect right now, so. Ah, it's good, it's good. Now it we just need good. to, well, oh, actually, yeah, we did discover an issue, which. A little maintenance thing. A little maintenance care. thing to take care of. You made a mess on my shop floor, but anyways. Yeah, old car, what are you gonna do? That's it. Anyways, K-Van, I think the mods are successful. I'm gonna rip this thing home and see what it sounds like on the highway, but I am so hyped too. That sound is so good. Can you sound believe amazing. a van sounded like that? If I was blindfolded, I never would have thought it was one of these. <laughs> it sounds pretty legit, bro. It doesn't, honestly, I don't think it sounds good for a K-Van. It actually kind of just sounds good. It just sounds good, yeah. <laughs> It's like people will hear it, they'll see the yeah. van drive past and look for the other car, like, what was that? But I don't know if you know, the engine that's in this is the identical same turbo engine in the um, Suzuki Cappuccino. What? Yeah. That's so that's why. Anyways, I'm so hyped on this. This is like everything yeah. I wanted it to be and more. So good. It is now the next day and I am glad that we are currently on our way to Upgrade to sell some parts because now you guys get to listen to the car on the road and oh my god, does this thing just sound amazing. Next clip, you're gonna be here able to hear the turbo like sucking in air. It's got this like nice new like sound to it and then like the bob plus a little bit of surge. It is just, it's amazing. Oh, the light went green, listen to this. so good again 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 <laughs> I hope the camera picks that up it's amazing it's so freaking good I love it I absolutely love it this is never getting old <laughs> Arrived at Up Garage, already got my ticket. As you can see, we're getting rid of the old tires that came on the TEs that we got for the K-Van and the stock suspension, which is in the Blitz coilover box because they're things I don't need and they're taking up space at the shop. While I wait for them to call my number, figured we'd take a quick look and uh, is this a 35 GTR transmission? Yes, it is. Damn, I don't think I've ever seen that out of the car. That looks crazy, very cool. Still on the hunt for a diff and a few other things. Ooh, what? Huh? Oh, from a V35, that makes sense. That's why it's only got the one port there. Interesting. Hmm. Still on the hunt for like a 4.3 or something like that. Might have to just buy one off Yahoo and pay a little bit more. But one other thing I think I want to buy while I'm here, if they have a decent one that's at a pretty good price, is a boost gauge for the KTR. I thought that would be pretty cool too. So I'm gonna scowl through here and see if we find one. Yo, what is this? Oh, that's more of a vacuum gauge. We want something more of like a boost gauge. Ooh, this old school HGS one looks kind of cool. Damn, full defi gauge set? <laughs> nah, we don't want that. Old blitz gauge, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I dig that. It's only 50 bucks as well. <laughs> it's a bargain in my opinion. Let's see if we can find something else that... This looks cool, but that is oil pressure. Damn, these little old Omori gauges are the seriously the coolest. What is this? ER34 GTT. Old Nissan, that's like a GTR pod, I think. A lot of oil pressure gauges there. 
Hmm, looks like we might have to end up going with something like this. Although, if I really wanted to ball out, I'd go with one of these gritty ones. But I think just for like boost, $250 for a boost gauge for the KTR meter turbo. Yeah, I mean, normally they're $300, so that's a little bit cheaper than usual. I don't know if I want it. Like, oh, this looks so good though, doesn't it? Would that be a waste on the KTR? It'd be so baller. I think I'm gonna go with this pivot gauge because it plugs into the OBD2 port and it gives me boost on the gauge there and then there's a little digital screen down there and it says that that's going to give me uh, water temperature voltage and oil temp. That just seems like a no brainer to me. And they have a second hand one which is only $10 cheaper. So I'd rather just get the brand new one. And yeah, that looks so cool. And yeah, you can see the OBD2 plug right there, which will plug right into the K-Van because it's on uh, OBD2 as well. So I'm going to get this, $160 for a gauge that gives me all of that. It's a no-brainer in my opinion. You guys know I always say that I have to come and do a quick check for a Nardi wheel every time I'm here. Well, today we lucked out and I'm going home with two new wheels. A nice Nardi Classic 330 and then another Nardi BC here. 330. This is going to go on the S15. This one I'm probably going to give away on the channel. It's going to be good. What a score. Well, my wallet is a lot lighter after we bought this stuff. Um, and then uh, we got absolutely zero for the stuff we brought in today. <laughs> And the reason why we got zero was turned out the stock suspension, the struts for the rear um, were completely shot. They weren't self-returning at all. So uh, yeah, <laughs> those were gone. Um, and then the tires had a few gashes on the inside on the bead line that I didn't know about. Um, and that's another reason why they couldn't give me any money for them. So I just said, look, just take it, throw them out because they, they do that as like a service for free. Um, and I mean, that way they're not lying around my shop. But I am so happy happy because we got an OBD2 gauge. I'm going to plug that in and make sure that works. Um, and like the fact that I've been looking for one of these Nardi wheels for a long time. I didn't want to play, pay brand new pricing for these because these are like upwards of five, six hundred dollars now. The fact that I got one, sure it's missing a horn button. That's not a big deal for me though. Um, I can always buy that separately on Yahoo auctions for like twenty, thirty dollars. Um, but also another 330 classic like this. Now this does have a few dashes and things like this in there, like just a few marks, but it is still a solid wheel. We could put this on the simulator or I might do a channel giveaway with this in the future. So I'm happy, definitely a good steal. Always come here and check these kinds of things because especially it's the end of the month right now, it's normally when all the good stuff's there. So with that, let's plug in this gauge and see if it quickly works. I've got the gauge sitting here in the wire, just kind of all crammed in there and plugged into the OBD port. Let's see, does this thing turn on? The ignition, I guess we'll start the engine. Oh, yo, yo, that's so good. What a temp, everything. I'm so hyped on that. Isn't that awesome? Man, I don't even have to run any vac lines or anything. We'll just tuck the wire. It's going to be sick. Oh man, I can't. That's so good, man. I'm way too hyped on this. This thing tells me everything too. I think I can cycle through them too. Oh, battery voltage. Oh, that's so good. So we don't have oil temperature because I don't think that's an option in the ECU, but we do have water temperature, which is awesome. I'm hyped. All right, so get a load of this. It looks like the max boost we make is 0.5 bar in this K-Van. That's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. It'd be cool to see what this thing will make at like one bar of boost, if it, like if we can actually like get it tuned and stuff for like that, but I'm hyped. We just picked up May from uh, the station. We actually went and had dinner and she has not heard the car or seen it or anything since the modifications. First of all, did you notice the, the side of the car? The car? Side? Yeah, did you notice that there's uh, something missing on the side of the car on both sides? You didn't notice that? What what other size is Have a the look mirrors? on the side. Have a look on the side of the car, on the side of the van. Is there anything missing? You don't notice it? You don't remember the stickers there? Oh. Okay, great. Now this <laughs> You really didn't, didn't notice it? It didn't mean 
anything to me. So oh, okay, well. that's good because they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> I hated them. Anyways, that aside, you haven't heard no. the sound of the car or anything like that. And I've made some pretty big changes. The car sounds mm. amazing. Um, anyways, I'm gonna hand the camera to May, and I want to get her reaction. It's the cutest little thing. Now I want to go on the highway. Yeah, dude, it's so good on the highway. <laughs> this is actually great. Hey, we're in like an inside car park, so it's yeah. hard, but... <laughs> I think it's the best thing ever. But, because we're not really going that fast and we're not on like the road, it's hard to load up. But it like even has turbo flutter and stuff. Hear it? <laughs> it's the best thing ever, I love it. Isn't it just awesome? It's cute, I like it. I just love that I can bolf police officers now and they're looking for a different car. It's like I drove past a cop today and I bolfed him, like because he had his window down, and he was like looking everywhere and didn't even know it was my car. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. We had a lot of fun obviously modifying the KTR, getting this thing sounding better. We definitely need to get an exhaust and just kind of like get that sound package all together there. But uh, if you're excited about the KTR, tell me down in the comment section. Head to cement.net, go grab yourself some of those shirts that are on clearance. And with that, smash that like button, rise a comment and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, Jamata.